Today I'm gonna to talk about how to set a siren for DC sirens. Ah, uh. DC fire siren. You can buy this one. I mean from a hardware shop. Okay, for or you not cannot get it. Go to electrical shop. But this one is DC sirens. There's a show there. DC sirens. Twelve volt VOC sirens. You can borrow it. Uh, how much? I'm not very really sure about this. Okay, you can see the DC siren. There's two cable. There's a red and a black. Red is mostly referring to the positive and black is mostly referring to the ground or negative or they call it GND in the shot. Okay now uh, what we at the uh, iPhase can see that it's a few of these things but what we need today is only these two. The rest can put aside. Okay. Put aside. Now I face before I go further ahead I need to explain the, the diagram of how to uh, siren this 12 volts okay I will draft out the paper okay how it looks like so this part here this is a siren there's a um, black and red okay the red is positive they need to go all the way to the comp NOC one to the NOC ones where is NOC one you can see it from the part behind here okay we go closer. This this one is a pos this one is uh, positive. This is a ground. This one will pop that we're going to use this to plug in here. Okay. Then another one is for this is to plug it to here. Then you can see this right here. There's NC two, COM two, and an O two. Okay. An O two, COM two, and NC. Now, based on this chart, we're going to. We're gonna, we're gonna do it now okay let's get this one first okay then the first one will be nc no and all two and com two the second one will be com two sorry and last one the nc so we're not gonna use nc we're gonna use an o2 and com two so start with this one first oops when you plug in it should be this one will be your right side will be your positive the left hand side will be our ground or negative. Okay, now let's join it up based on this chart. Okay, I want to join this one first. Okay, the positive. Then we are right hand side positive. Two. Com two. Okay, com two. Now let's start it this one first. I just gonna get a cable because my power I'm gonna supply for this iPhase is using power adapter so i can go in this one if you can't go in there's a this one here the something like orange red color you just push it up the hole inside will open up okay i try to push it in so my this cable can go all the way in okay push it up in and i just push it in all the way oops it's not that easy yep Okay, just push it all the way in. Make sure it's open so the cable can go all the way in. Okay, yep. Make it tight. Yep, it's tight already. Okay. Now, this one will need to go to COM2. Okay, the second one is COM2. So, this one go all the way in. Okay, or maybe just push a bit in so it can move further inside but yep it's tight yep oh no it's not tight enough so just make sure going all the way in and yeah, push all the way in inside as well yep oops still not That's funny, should be in already. Okay, if you find it hard, you can either you make something to it or shoulder it to make it okay easier. Okay, should be all right for our practical showing. So now, another cable is let's say it can't go to the second one, we do go to NO1. So the NO1 comes more positive, okay positive huh? so this one red one will be a positive so it will go to your NO1 
if your cable is too long now you can just cut it make it shorter because we don't have short circuit for dc even though it's not injured to a human but it may uh wasted your time all right Well, we need more extra hand for this. Taking a bit longer than expected. Bro, I need your hand. Okay. No, it's okay. Yep. It's getting us up. Yep. Okay, need extra hand for this. Another extra hand. For so this one done, now we're going to connect this black one, the ground, to the ground. So this will be your second point here. So, yep, we need more hand for this. Yep, just make it go in all the way in. Yep. Okay, now just done this one. Plug in. Put this one plug in. Okay, so we get it. This one bracket, put it back the bracket. Okay, screw it up. Okay, just be tight with you. Now put by power by power adapter. Okay, power adapter. Now this on it. So touch screen, you go to personalize, you go to bell schedule, okay, let's say you can click new bell, get it on it, then you can set a, to external bell, okay, this is the relay time, how long you going to uh, bell the sound, let's say put it at 5, put it at 10, so for purpose I just show it for 5 seconds, then the bell time, okay, you can put the bell time, put it to 34 minutes, okay, then you go back again. And then one more thing before, make sure this option is selected X, external bell relay NC2. NC2, uh, okay, now back. 
So we gotta wait for it to ring. To ring. Okay, it's on, it's ring already. Okay, you can show that it's already ring for five seconds for you just for you to show. Okay, this is how you will set it your bell. Now I quickly I using power adapter for those that not using power adapter or direct power in, then your power will go to here. Okay, to here they go up. So they're optional by power adapter or by power supply. So power supply DC will come to here. Alright. So thank you for your time. A bit long than expected. So this is how you set your bell for DC. Huh? For DC vote. Well, later on, another one we will show you on AC. AC siren which is much much louder than DC. Huh? Thank you.